A classic thought experiment dating back more than a century involves monkeys and typewriters. It was discussed as early as 1913 by French mathematician Emile Borel, and perhaps by others even before that. A common statement of it is, how long would it take a monkey, hitting the keys of a typewriter at random, to type out the whole of Hamlet, word for word, exactly as Shakespeare had written it? Obviously, most of what the monkey would type would be utter gibberish. Even coming up with a valid three-letter English word would be a rarity. The first line of the play, spoken by Bernardo, is Who's There? The chances of the monkey hitting the W are 1 in 44 because there are 44 keys on a standard typewriter keyboard. The chances of hitting the H immediately after the W are also 1 in 44 so that the chances of hitting the sequence WH are 1 in 44 times 44 or 1 in 1936. The odds of our hypothetical simian getting the first three letters correct on any given attempt are a pitiful 1 in 44 times 44 times 44 or 1 in 85,184. Next it has to hit the apostrophe, then the S, then a space. You see the problem. You'd have a better chance of winning the lottery, and we haven't even started on the second word. What's more, if the monkey makes a single mistake, all its efforts are undone, and any correct sequence it's managed to produce up to that point has to be thrown out and a fresh start made. Hamlet is the longest of Shakespeare's plays. It contains 30,557 words and approximately 130,000 letters, punctuation marks and spaces between words. The odds of typing it correctly in one go using random keystrokes are about 1 in 4.4 times 10 to the 360,783 assuming that capital letters are separate keys. On an actual typewriter, of course, capital letters and some punctuation marks require the simultaneous pressing of two keys, the shift key plus one other, which vastly diminishes the probability of success. The fact is that even if the universe were crammed full of subatomic-sized monkeys, that had been tapping away non-stop on subatomic sized typewriters since the Big Bang, there'd be only a one in a trillion chance of them typing out even the first 79 characters of Hamlet correctly. Of course, real monkeys aren't inclined to spend their days working diligently without break as typists, even of the hit or miss variety. This fact was borne out when in 2003, as a piece of performance art, a computer keyboard connected by a radio link to a website was left in the enclosure of six Sulawesi crested macaques at Painton Zoo in Devon. The animals could watch the results of their efforts on a screen. While the novelty of their new plaything lasted, the monkeys managed to produce six pages of writing consisting mostly of the letter S, before in a fit of rage the alpha male attacked the keyboard with a stone and the others ended up urinating on it. In 2011, American programmer Jesse Anderson enlisted the help of an army of virtual and more compliant monkeys to recreate not just Hamlet, but all of Shakespeare's works. Using Amazon's EC2 cloud computing system, he ran millions of small computer programs simultaneously, each churning out random sequences of nine characters. However, it was a much watered-down version of the original Monkeys and Typewriters Challenge. Anderson required only that a nine-letter sequence appear anywhere in the Bard's writings for it to be checked off as completed. It doesn't compare with the feat of having to get all the letters and other characters correct for Hamlet in one go. On the upside, as Anderson pointed out, this is the largest work ever randomly reproduced. It is one small step for a monkey, 
one giant leap for virtual primates everywhere.